last night's hostel didn't have a uh, breakfast, which is fine. I wasn't that hungry. Um, it gave me a chance just to sleep through the morning. Took a shower. It's always interesting taking a shower at hostels because I don't really feel comfortable leaving my bag anywhere. Um, so I actually just hang it up in the shower stall with me. <laughs> um, so I've gotten pretty good at keeping it dry. And then uh, before I left, I went back up on the roof um, where I was filming last night's vlog because um, I wanted to get some actual decent footage and shots from up there because it is a nice view. It's funny, there's a um, little salon like down in the alley from the hostel that was called like Porn Beauty Salon. I just, I don't know if porn gets me to this entire. I love that name. And then I uh, headed towards Terminal 21, which is the airport, airport themed mall. How did they only go look for that thing? Eventually I had a, for I guess brunch, I had a melon cheesecake frappuccino, and it was amazing. I started heading towards this hostel, um, which is like five subway stops down um, from where I was staying, but then I got off like four early. First I wanted to see this park, and then I saw the shopping center, and that looked so much more interesting. Um, it was like, I think it was like three different malls, technically. Like, it was called like the Emporium, and then there was, or I guess it was before malls, I don't know what the other one, the, okay, so there was like, there was the glass, I want to say quarter, but I think it had an eye in it, so it was like Quartier or something like that. Then there was the Helix, and then the Waterfall, and they actually <clears throat> had a waterfall on the outside, but yeah, it's crazy the variety of stuff they had in there. Um, like, uh, they had a lot of, like, installation stuff, like, uh, big displays and, um, stuff hanging from the ceiling. And then, uh, they had this, like, whole, like, Lego play area for the kids. There was a, uh, which I'm gonna try to come back for this sometime, there's, like, one of those, um, huge, like, bounce rooms where you can, like, as an adult, even, you can just kind of jump and bounce around. I think it was, like, $15 an hour. <clears throat> <clears throat> so hopefully I do get around to doing that sometime this trip. <clears throat> Where the GoPro? That'd be interesting. Um, and then uh, there's like a self-playing piano in one of the entry entryways. And there's like a whole um, grocery store on the food court. I got a sample of like a really good, uh, I think it was a uh, prosciutto. Is that a thing? So when I was trying to find the bounce place, um, I kind of got mixed up with which, which uh, quarter I was in. Um, because for the most part you go between them through these like uh, bridges. But um, there's some ways to get through them through stores. So like I was going through, I think it was H and no Uniqlo, and then all of a sudden I was in the other quarter. And I didn't realize it. Um, so I was, I knew I was supposed to go to the fourth floor. 
to get to the bounce house. And then when I got to the fourth floor, it was a parking garage, <laughs> so it was a different quarter. Um, but the parking garage was, I mean, the garage itself was just a parking garage, although they had those little sensor things with the spots so you knew if, from a distance. I mean, it was empty anyways, but you knew if, from a distance if the spot was taken. Um, but I got some uh, good views of parts of the skyline that I wouldn't have been able to get otherwise. I left, and um, exit the park was like right next to the mall, basically. So I walked towards there. And started kind of raining and then stopping. It's weird, like, this is supposed to be the rainy season, but, like, it's actually been raining here less than it was in Vegas. <laughs> um, but um, I didn't really end up going around the park because I kind of, I could see everything from one side of it. A little bit past that, there's a uh, dinosaur, um, like, animatronic amusement park that I want to go to sometime. I mentioned that because when, when I was walking back to the, into the subway station to start heading to the hostel, um, they actually had, like, a little mini exhibit, uh, like, teaser thing of the park, like, in the station. It was like a, like, this isn't, like, an official Jurassic Park park, but it's, it kind of plays on that a lot. Um, but there's, like, a, it's like a live raptor in a box shaking around. The, uh, continuity is bugging me here, so, um, basically I got on the subway after the dinosaur thing went the few stops over to my next hostel. So I hung out in the downstairs cafe area, just kind of catch my breath and get some work taken care of. While I was hanging out, um, one of the staff was, um, noticed that like, I had a camera and stuff, so he was talking about this uh, river, and, like where I get some good shots on um, those down the street. <clears throat> so uh, um, eventually I walked over there. There's, there wasn't that much to see from the river, but I'm glad I went down there. And then um, uh, <clears throat> it was interesting just going around the markets around there and then kind of doubled back and uh, started wandering down these alleys and finding other markets. But after I Got back from doing the round of photos. Um, went back and just kind of edit, edited them for a while. That's why I was showing them to the guy that had uh, recommended me going to the river. And then, uh, uh, so we were talking about photography, photography for a while. And then he um, mentioned one of the photos <coughs> down this uh, alley. Um, where there was these, like, a, looked like storage units, but it was just, like, shutters. And uh, he's saying that, like, the other day, um, <laughs> They found like a dead body, and like he showed me a picture of the dead body. Like it wasn't graphic, but like, so that was that like forever changes that picture for me. And then uh, for dinner, I headed down. Um, I feel bad for getting so much definitely American food, um, but uh, there's a KFC. They have a lot of you know, um, uh, exclusive stuff in this region, and so uh, I got um, it was like a bucket of uh, drums, and they were like wing size drums. They weren't huge drums. Like one was like a Thai chili and cheddar cheese flavor, and then one was um was like Thai chili and lime flavor. Um, I was honestly kind of disappointed in them. I was hoping to be that the spices were worked into the um, batter before it was fried, but it's basically like they fried the wings and just kind of like covered them in this uh, dust. So it wasn't anyways, it wasn't bad. But um, next to the ketchup, they have this uh, chili sauce. So I was dipping them in there. That was pretty good. Um, didn't have a bathroom, which I didn't need, but um, yeah, it's it's, it's really aggravating. That, like, you would think a culture that eat, consumes that much spicy food would need to have some uh, bathrooms available to them, but it's not. I found out, actually, when I found this out um, yesterday when I was watching, I think it was yesterday, yeah, watching the movie, or the ads before the movie. Um, so there was the uh, chips that I had um, earlier in the trip. On one of the videos, where um, I was saying like they kind of were a combination of like shrimp or prawn and um, some kind of sauce or soup flavor, and I was saying that they kind of like change flavor halfway through. That was just like me imagining things. The deal is with those chips is it's like half and half. So there's like green ones that taste like whatever that soup sauce thing is, and then the orange ones taste like the prawns. I don't know how I didn't make the connection that there was different colors for different flavors. Anyway, Lay's has a lot of uh, 
exclusive flavors here. So these are on the nori seaweed flavor. Hmm. That works a lot better than I thought it would. And I got a Milo bar. I've actually had these before. I think I had it at the airport. They're really good. The whole gimmick here is um, it's basically just chocolate, but this might be a different kind. It's still really good. But um, the kind I had before, it's like they had little, it was like they baked, it's almost like they crushed up like Oreo cookies. Not the cream, but just the cookie and they're just going to work it into the batter. Not like in chunks, but just like random little dustings of it throughout the chocolate. I haven't booked my <clears throat> next hotel yet, but uh, this will probably just be hostels for the next few days. And it's a hostel, I don't know if it's named after, but it has uh, two cats, or it's, it's called Taz Hostel. And um, I saw a picture of like one of the cats the logo, so I wasn't sure if it's named after that cat or not, um, but uh, I was trying to get them to come up to me in the cafe, but they wouldn't. Oh, and I was right uh, um, in the video I ended up posting today, I, again, it was like from three days ago, I mentioned because of the lag and getting the videos up, I was like, oh, I probably won't get this up until Saturday, and I was right. <laughs> it was funny that I got the date right. I wasn't even like, intentionally doing it, it's just I didn't get around to getting it until now. Um, anyway, so, uh, yeah, so tomorrow.